Enderman Slayer, one of the hardest Slayer bosses in Hypixel Skyblock. I must admit, I never really bothered with it after getting carries to E-Man 5 so I could use the Juju shortbow, but today, I want to be able to kill tier 4 Enderman without any bugs or glitches, and to do that, I either need skill or a bunch of coins, and I think you know which one I have. Alright, the first item on my list will be the legendary e-drag pet with the bubblegum pet item. As I plan on killing the boss in Aurora armor, which I already have and isn't very tanky, the pet item will also increase the duration of my power orb so I don't have to replace it during the boss fight. To accompany the e-drag serving the same purpose will be the ender relic giving an insane buff to my survivability. Last but not least, I need to buy myself an Overflux Power Orb. One, for the mana regen and other buffs it gives me during the boss fight. And two, well... My days, that was like a perfect power orb. As well as buying these items, some other things I had to do was to get M3 tank zombie summons on my Reaper side. Activate and consuming soul flow for my soul flow power cell and pocket expresso machine and buying a quiver full of explosive arrows for the hit phase. Last but not least, I consumed a god pot with the deep terror mix in and got everything ready in my hot bar. So, one last time going over my gear. I have the Reaper Scythe, equipped with M3 tank zombie summons, my Hyperion, AOTV, Wand of Atonement, Vorpal Katana and Terminator to assist me with the hit phase, a Fire Veil one for spawning the boss, an Overflux and Soul Whip. The Soul Whip having mana still 3 is for mana regen during the laser beam phase. I'm also using 3 Force Fiery Aurora with Mana Pool Vitality Attributes and Perfect Gemstone Slots. I also have my Wither Goggles and Mage Equipment. Last but not least, looking at the pets, I have a level 100 Legendary Wolf Pet for spawning the boss and an E-Drag for killing the boss. Like I said before, the Bubblegum Held Item your pet fuses its power with placed orbs to give them 2 times duration. This is very good because the default duration of a power orb is 60 seconds, so timing that by 2 will give me a whole 2 minutes to complete the boss, which is more than enough time. I also have combat 60, enchanting 60, and alchemy 50, which all increase my damage. And of course, my talismans, giving me a total of... 1102 magical power. You can see that I've selected the sided reforge, which gives me an extra 3 ability damage, and my tuning points are on intelligence. I did change these tuning points later on to defense to give me a bit more survivability. Even with all this gear, I was still dying too often, and I'm not sure why. There's probably some Enderman Slayer expert out there who can help me out in the comments, but for now I'm too impatient and I'm willing to sacrifice some boss time and some more coins just to be on the safe side. With all this in mind, I went over to the auction house and I bought myself an SO a Final Destination set. And now I can finally solo the tier 4 Enderman Slayer boss. Well, actually going back and trying the boss with my original gear 
I realized I could actually do it comfortably and all I needed was a bit of practice, so goodbye final destination set. If you liked the video, let me know by subscribing, and if a separate Eman Slayer guide is something you'd like to see as well, be sure to let me know that too. Anyways, bye!